GeneDrive HCV ID Kit, delivering qualitative molecular hepatitis C results in 90 minutes. Your GeneDrive HCV ID Kit components are a plasma preparation cartridge, an HCV ID assay tube, two cartridge lids, one tube of nuclease free water, and one empty tube. The components must be stored between 2 and 30 degrees Celsius. The expiry date is shown on the kit label. Expired kits should not be used. The assay is intended for use on human whole blood derived plasma in either K2 or K3 EDTA anticoagulant. Protective gloves must be worn throughout the procedure and changed regularly. Calibrated pipettes should always be used. To switch on, Connect the gene drive instrument to a power supply. Take the empty tube, the nuclease free water and the plasma sample. Mix the plasma sample thoroughly by pipetting up and down at least 10 times. This ensures an even mix of virus particles if present. Next, transfer 30 microliters of the plasma to the empty tube provided. followed by 60 microliters of nuclease-free water to dilute the plasma. Mix thoroughly by pipetting up and down at least 10 times. Next, remove the plasma preparation cartridge from its foil pouch. Ensure that the lyophilized translucent crystals are located at the base of each channel. These crystals contain protease and buffer. Remove the bung from the cartridge and immediately add 15 microliters of the diluted plasma sample to the center of each channel of the cartridge. Next, label the gene drive cartridge lid with the sample or patient identification number and attach it to the cartridge. Ensure the lid is correctly attached by firmly pressing down until the clips are fully engaged on both sides. Holding the lid, firmly flick the cartridge downwards to force the sample to the bottom of each channel. This will rehydrate the protease crystals and allow the reaction to start. Ensure that the level of the liquid is approximately the same for each channel. Leave for approximately 30 to 60 seconds for the lyophilized reagents to dissolve, then place the cartridge into the gene drive instrument. To start the plasma preparation reaction, press and hold the function button until a beep is heard. The reaction will take approximately 10 minutes to complete. During that time, gene drive heats the sample to 37 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes, and then 95 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. During this step, the plasma proteins and viral particles digest, which releases the viral RNA. Once the reaction is complete, the instrument will beep and display the message, paused, hold to resume. Next, remove the HCV ID assay tube from its foil pouch. Ensure that the white pellet is located at the base of the tube. This contains all the reagents needed to perform the RT-PCR. Discard the tube if the pellet isn't present. If the material is loose, tap the tube to settle it to the bottom. Next, take 100 microliters of nuclease-free water and add to the center of the HCV ID assay tube. Discard the red lid. Once the reagents have dissolved, gently pipette up and down at least 10 times, taking care to avoid frothing. This step should be performed immediately prior to initiating the second stage of the gene drive HCV assay procedure. Remove the cartridge from the gene drive instrument and holding the lid firmly, sharply flick downwards to force the samples to the bottom of each channel. Next, remove the cartridge lid by rocking it backwards and forwards until it becomes loose and detaches. If extensive precipitation and turbidity are present, the test will need to be discarded and repeated. Transfer 30 microliters of the reconstituted material from the HCV ID assay tube to the center of each channel in the cartridge.
Attach the new jean drive lid and ensure the lid is fully engaged on both sides. As before, firmly flick the cartridge downwards to force the samples to the bottom of each channel. This mixes the prepared plasma and RT-PCR reagents. Inspect the cartridge to confirm addition of the reagents and immediately place into the gene drive instrument, ensuring it is fully inserted into the cartridge dock. Press and hold the function button until a beep is heard. The instrument will follow a predetermined RT-PCR thermocycling pattern, specifically developed for the HCV ID kit. Results will be displayed on screen in approximately 75 minutes. An undetected negative result indicates that hepatitis C virus has not been detected. A detected positive result indicates a current HCV infection. After recording the results, remove and dispose of the cartridge as clinical waste material. To avoid environmental contamination with PCR amplicons, do not try and open the cartridge once the test has been completed. To reset the gene drive to run the next test, press and hold the function button. To turn off the gene drive, remove the power cable. To find out more about the gene drive instrument, visit the website at www.genedrive.com.